Hello, hi everyone, Nicola is here and this short video I'm gonna try to make it short is gonna be about how to um, register and open your e-wallet. Um, if you're here in this group I'm gonna use the link here because I assume you're watching my video right from here. If not, uh, the link will be in caption for this video just under the video in its description. Um, we're gonna use this link that I provided here. This is one global e-wallet. As it says here, it has very good security. A uh, couple levels levels of authorization, so it's pretty safe. And uh, you wanna keep your Bitcoins in a safe place. Uh, so after clicking here, there's a welcome page, home page. Uh, you go to register button. And of course you type email that you wanna use. you use a password of any kind check this I'm not a robot if you get some pictures like this with street signs you need to do that next street signs okay it says verified register you don't want to remember the the password now because you don't want someone else to use your computer or um, something like that and the password is automatically there for that person anyways uh, we do that with no then there's a security they said this is pretty secure you can use a smartphone app Google Authenticator which is one recommended I like to use SMS and phone request if you check here um, then choose your country code That's mine. <clears throat> so I'm waiting for the SMS now. Or you can use phone call and the phone will actually ring and uh, the automated message will tell you the code that you need to enter. Okay, that is my call, just a second. That's it. Now start. Your account is now secure. Start using CEXIO. Okay, the thing now, the most important thing, you have your account. All the balances are zeros. Then, in order to deposit something, you need to, this is a quick deposit button. You click here, and now you're going to see, please confirm your email first, and then we need to check email okay now we're in we confirmed our email and as I said the quick deposit button is right here we don't have that uh, confirm your email prompt here anymore but we also don't have any uh, payment method stored in we use payment card at least most of people do so payment card add a new card And now it's just like any other online purchase or something. You type your number here, card holder's name, expiration date. Now proceed. Upload photos proving ownership of your card. Passport, ID card, driver's license. What I suggest actually to do at this step uh, as I did, I took pictures like neatly. Um, arranged uh, pictures of um, as they are suggesting ID and uh, your payment card all together with your phone and then take this uh, selfie with your payment card uh, also so uh, you can email that to your email if it's easier for you that way and then access it from your computer and just download it and have it on your computer or your laptop so now <coughs> we can do this I saved it in documents uh, 
Okay, I added a few more just in case. Um, this is the same. And so I have a couple just to make sure that it's uh, all good. Upload selfie. It should come up here, but sometimes it's uh, not really behaving well. Don't know why. It works better with drag and drop sometimes. So we're good. Now we click proceed. Oh, this is going to take uh, some time to upload the pictures to their server. Okay, it's all good. Please enter CVV, CVC code, three or four digit code at the back of your card. We'll do that. Proceed. Verification by small charge. It's you can do in five cents, perhaps. Proceed. Your card is being processed. Your card has been successfully submitted and is being checked by the compliance agency. So this might take a while. We can go to go finance page. Uh, we will get an email when this is done. Uh, so we'll increase our limit and it's fairly simple. It shouldn't take more than 24 hours after submitting the documents. And then we'll have um, $3,000 uh, or euros um, limit per payment card and $10,000 uh, or euros limit for the this account itself for the transactions. And I believe it's unlimited. Uh, amount of uh, cryptocurrencies you can trade and exchange uh, during the day. As I said, the quick deposit button is here. The other video explains it more detail in, in more details how and what to do. But uh, if you want to deposit some funds to your account, the quickest way is to click this green deposit button. And now we do have our credit card or debit card stored here. Uh, status is still pending though. And that's what I said earlier. Uh, we need to wait for that verification uh, and confirmation via email. However, uh, what I wanted to show you is that your limit, daily limit, is $300, as I said. And account limit is also $300. You can increase it by clicking here. And it will take you to verification. Okay, this is basic. We verify that. Um, extend your limits and enable more payment options by verifying your identity. Well, that will allow you $10,000 $10, per day and 100000 per month. We'll do just that. ID type, edit, choose country, you enter your details here obviously. Um, document serial number that would be the, the, the number of your document you will be uploading in my case that is just uh, my ID Photo of identity card, both sides, selfie of you holding your identity card, and proof of residence, choose document, um, it can be bank statement or basically whatever. You need to prepare these documents or, or take a picture of them as I suggested earlier and just uh, uh, mail it, email it to yourself. And this is pretty much done because this is the last step as you see and after that complete verification after that you'll just have to wait uh, for not more than 24 hours I think they need to uh, review your documents uh, your scanned copies of your documents and um, I think you should be getting an email when it's done uh, if not just log in and uh, 
check out that um, when you click on the deposit uh, button, the green deposit button, the limits should be increased to 3,000 and 10,000 instead of just 300. We are done with, um, with this video showing you how to register, verify your card and verify your account for that matter. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's not really uh, hard to do it. Just follow the steps um, and just read the instructions on the, on the website itself. Um, my name is Nicola once again. Uh, you can find the link for a walkthrough through your e-wallet um, under this video if this is on YouTube. If you're watching this, uh, I mean definitely you're going to watch this on YouTube, but if you uh, have found this link on uh, in the group uh, who wants to, to be a Bitcoin miner, then the other link should be just next to this one, telling walkthrough to your e-wallet and how to actually fund your account and make transactions in Bitcoin. Make it a great day and I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.